Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. So, Marty forgot we were on the trial for some reason. I forgot. <laughs> Even I though forget. we were in the middle of the day for your trial former. Yeah, there's a trial former and a trial ladder, so. Trial former. <laughs> yes, yes, That sounds quite. very proper. Anyways. Oh yeah, Cout is now back in session. <laughs> Court is now back in session. Mr. Justice, have you sorted things out with the defendant? Yes, your honor. We had a good talk. Hmm, very well. Amazing in just five minutes. <laughs> so, will he testify? Your honor, the defendant will not testify. Wh what? <laughs> Nick Lavier's like, okay. Shame. And here I thought this was your big chance to turn the case around. Actually, it is. The defense would like to approach this case from a different angle, your honor. A different angle? If Machi won't testify, then I know who will. I would like to cross-examine the witness in this case, Lemawa. L Lemawa. Objection! Glovie was like, no. What are you up to now? I thought we determined yesterday that Lemawa's testimony was insubstantial. There's nothing you can. Lemawa was taken to the hospital yesterday with injuries. What happened? She was assaulted, Your Honor. A assaulted? Someone wanted Lemawa dead. Thankfully, she was able to save herself. What? I heard no such report. Prosecutor Gavin. Why would anyone be out to kill Lamiwa? Can you think of a reason? W well... Think of how she's known in our country. A senior from overseas who doesn't speak English, yes? Yet someone tried to keep her mouth shut. Who could that have been? You don't think. I do! It was the same person who shot Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have really bad hay fever. The killer was afraid of her, afraid of what she might say. The defense believes that something was hidden in her testimony yesterday. Something that the killer doesn't want getting out. Dang, this is intense. So am I to understand that this is what you are saying? Namely, that there is a nugget of truth in Lamiwa's testimony? A nugget we have yet to uncover? Exactly. Hmm. If Lamiwa was attacked, this has serious implications. Very well. There were some vague points in her testimony during yesterday's trial. Perhaps we did not inquire as deeply as we might have <laughs> into some. So the court will hear Lamiwa's testimony once more. Sup. <laughs> she's like the most <laughs> prominent witness in any case, basically. She's like yeah, always on the stand. Yeah, she's come up so much. Other than maybe Larry Butts, just because he has so many cases he's I in. I said in any one given in case. In any one given case, probably. Lamiwa, I must apologize. We must ask you to stand again and speak. Except for maybe, uh, Texas. He only got up once! Okay, he got up for like three hours of us then, if that's the case. I don't case. think so. We- it was so stupidly long. You just think that whole case was long. Which no, it but, is. But that part of the case where he was on the stand, specifically, was so long. Probably just because you had to point out the video thing like five times. Five times. Oh my gosh. You need not apologize. I know that Machi's innocent. And I will do all that I can until the court realizes this. Let's review your testimony from yesterday. You told us you heard two gunshots and the shooter's voice through the window. And that the voice belonged to Darian Crescent, yes? That is correct. At which point I proved she could not be correct. She couldn't have heard any of those things. The small window at the scene was closed and found to be quite soundproof. You have nothing to say to that, Mr. Justice? I don't know exactly what yet, but I do know there's something there. There is, it seems, much you do not know. Isn't that a line from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> the door, or whatever? Not that the door, Not that the door talks, but the- There's still so much you do not know. Lights, dark, the people who die and go places- Yeah, and... that, that's <laughs> absolutely something that happens no, in Kingdom like Hearts. No, like in Kingdom Hearts 1, where he like finds the door, and then he comes back to the door, and Kairi's like, Sora, and she goes like sucked through the door. She gets sucked down a rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, it is my duty to hear him out. Perhaps the witness would be so kind as to testify once more to the court? Of course, Your Honor. 
What I Heard, part 18 out of 5 million. I was on my way to the from the stage to the backstage exit. That is when I heard them, Mr. Latouse and the detective. I heard the faint sound of a gunshot and stopped. Then I heard another gunshot. There was a smell of gunpowder, and I knew I must tell someone, but I was in a hurry, so I kept moving past the small window. Hmm. Pretty much the same as yesterday's testimony. I'm sorry. I'm not used to speaking much in this language. Perhaps my descriptions are lacking in some way. Yet, everything I have said here is the truth. Then it is my distinct displeasure to say this. What you have said to have happened is impossible. Do I have to repeat myself? Lamawa was attacked because of this testimony! W what Trucy? Apollo, you know, for a moment there, you were pretty cool. Maybe I do better when I don't try to think ahead. Very well, Mr. Justice. Perhaps you can coolly cross-examine the witness. <laughs> cool. I wonder, how do you tie your hair like that? Does the clasp, like, come undone? Or do you just have to, like, shove the hair up the- or down the You're thing? You're asking me? I don't know hair, okay? Despite the fact I have hair longer than hers, I don't know how to do hair like that. And you're, at, no you're talking to the guy who literally, I'm like, I gotta do my hair. Brushes it ten seconds. Okay, it's done. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm just trying, I'm like, trying to be scientific about it. Trying to, like, mm -hmm. figure out how it works. Uh, backstage exit, okay. Is something wrong? I raised an objection. But she's saying the same thing she said before. Mr. Justice, S sorry, it's nothing. Uh, please continue with your testimony. Hmm. <laughs> Now I know what they mean about the reckless youth these days. The one in red over there is a shining example, Air Judge. You're the last person who should be pointing fingers, Mr. Rockstar! Yeah. Uh, that's when I heard them. Darian Crescent? I did not know his name at the time. But yes, it was him, and the one who took the stand yesterday. How many times do I need to remind you that's impossible? There's no way you could have heard him. Because the- because the window at the scene was closed? Is that why? Of course. Apollo, if we keep asking the same questions as yesterday, we're not gonna get anywhere. She's right. Maybe there's a different angle I can try? What were they talking about? Did you hear anything else? No need. Uh. Well, no need is stupid. So let's start with that one. On second thought, maybe I'll just play it safe here. See, I can be calm and collected too sometimes. <laughs> Don't get too calm, or you might grind it to a halt. Thanks for the vote of confidence! I liked you better before with the do I have to repeat myself bit. Ah! So what should I be? Maybe I am overthinking this whole thing. Back. Well, I actually think that's where we can find the contradiction, though. So Fine. If I heard another gunshot. Faint sounds, oh my. There were two gunshots. Yes, I heard two. One after the other. That fits with the bullet holes at the scene. Nothing really new here to pick up. Yup. Smell of gunpowder. Why didn't you tell someone immediately? B well, I... If it were me, I would have gone to the police right away. It's our duty as citizens. This may be beside the point, but Lamewa isn't a citizen. Though one would hope such common sense prevails in Borgina <laughs> as well. <laughs> Oh, uh, poor girl. <laughs> poor girl. <laughs> Lamela seems awfully quiet all of a sudden. That's strange. Could she be hiding something? It is as you say, yet at the same time. I was in a hurry, so I kept moving past. You were in a hurry? To go where? To the bathroom. Uh, uh, I was on my way to back <laughs> to the backstage exit, as I have said. <laughs> she had to go. She, you, sometimes you just really, really, really got to go. No, I mean, that happens. I had that happen for a show once, and I uh, missed the bows. <laughs> that was the first show I was in. <laughs> I was in Mulan. I was like, it'll be fine. I can make it back in time. And then I just I completely did. missed the ending. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I was like six. Give me mm. a break. Why were you in such a hurry, then? Well, I... I don't think that has anything to do with this case. It very well might! Please answer the question! Are you alright, Lamewa? Yes. Yes, I'm just tired. 
Recall what I told you yesterday, Air Forehead. Lamawa suffers from serious amnesia. She's fine. Please refrain from traumatizing her further. Grr. What, so we can just dismiss questions he thinks are too traumatizing? Why don't you prove her reason had a connection to the case before asking about it, yeah? The prosecution's objection is sustained. The current question is moot, Mr. Justice. Please continue with your cross-examination. What yeah. does moot mean? Inconsequential. Inconsequential? Okay. The point is moot. The point is moot? I've literally never heard that phrase. Before. Really? No! Who says moot? Lots moot? of people. I've never heard it before. I've definitely mentioned said that phrase before several oh, times. Oh, I don't know if I've heard you say it. Or I just dismissed it as like, oh, whatever. Point is moot. All okay. Right. I don't know why I was attacked because of this testimony. I know she was. So something's got to be hidden here. Maybe there's some detail we're missing? I guess we'll just have to get her to fill in the blanks. Right. Backstage exit. Right. And then we come back. Uh, what hear were anything they talking else? about? That's probably the thing I would think. Did you happen to hear anything else at that time? Anything else? Anything else besides the victim and the shooter's conversation? Anything at all? That's quite the vague question. Other than the conversation? I heard a clock ticking, the two men breathing, footsteps. That is all. Nothing new there, as expected. Ah! I was hoping for a little more than that! Perhaps we should just carry on the cross-examination. As you wish. It was later that the judge learned that when she said, as you wish, that actually meant, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Lamawa, do you by any chance remember what they were saying to each other? If so, please tell us. I have given it much reflection, but... I was afraid of this. She doesn't remember. I only heard one phrase clearly. A whole phrase? You remembered something that was said? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything yesterday? Though my memory's clear, I was afraid to speak. You see, I do not understand what was said. Oh, it's probably gonna be something, like, really weird. Like, if you just hear one phrase of it, where it's like, uh, oh man, like, these peanuts are salty, and you're just like, what is this? <laughs> or, or, or if it's, like, a rock lyric. Right. This could be it. The cool I've been waiting for. Or if it's a quote, like, if it's, like, hasta la vista, baby, she's like, what? That's Spanish. <laughs> well, but if you quote something... Right. Well, well, what did he say? It was the other man speaking, not Mr. Latouse. The shooter, then. Darian Crescent. Well, what did he say? It's over. Press the switch, now. Switch? Oh, so the- so Mr. Latouse had uh, the switch to set the guitar on fire, supposedly? Either mm. the guitar on fire or something else. And the shooter said this to the victim, Mr. Latouse? I thought it quite strange myself afterward. Hmm, it is a mystery. What could it possibly mean? I know what it means! Mr. Justice, care to shed some light on this? I will dispel uh, the mist. Um, I mean, sure, I'd be delighted. Uh, it's uh, very, very vital. Maybe we could add that to the testimony. Maybe, Apollo. From the small window, I heard a voice say, press the switch now. And it was Detective Darian Crescent's voice? Yes, I'm sure of it. It's over. Press the switch. Why would he say that to Mr. Latouse? <laughs> Apollo. The murder weapon, the revolver, was Mr. Latouse's, right? Yeah. What of it? Well, maybe when he said, press the switch, he really meant to say, pull the trigger. Be because his English isn't so good. Darren Crescent is a native speaker! <laughs> oh. Oh, right. Sorry, I kind of forgot who was what. Press the switch. That's not something a killer usually says to his or her victim, is it? Was there no one else in the room? I do not know. All I heard was Mr. Latouse and the detective. I heard the faint sound of a gunshot and stopped. Then I heard another gunshot. Well, it's probably this statement and we have to press on it. We already and did. We press, uh, and we show the switch. Objection! Press the switch. There's only one key that can unlock the mystery of those words. Oh. Yet there was nothing at the scene that could be called a switch. Save the lights. True, there wasn't a switch at the scene. But it just so happens, I have a switch right here. That certainly does look like a switch, doesn't it? 
Looks like a cell phone. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Nintendo Switch, but it looks <laughs> like another one. <laughs> the problem is, this was found not at the scene of the crime, but on the stage. The stage? Where the concert was held, yes. This was found hidden there. On the stage? Are you claiming that the voice Lamewa heard was of someone commanding another to press this switch? It's a possibility. You're in the middle of a rock guitar solo. Press the switch, press the switch, like on the headset. <laughs> press the switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, air forehead, I'd call that an impossibility. Why? It's hardly necessary for me to remind the court of the layout of the concert forum. Exactly, it works fine. The stage is quite far from Lamoua's dressing room. Not to mention that the Gaviniers were in the middle of a concert on said stage. <laughs> we aren't known for being a quiet band. <laughs> you could shout all you wanted and not be heard. The detective's voice was loud, but certainly not a shout. So too have Hair Forehead's cries of possibility fallen far short of being heard. Wow. Sorry. But he wouldn't have needed to shout! Excuse me? You heard what I said, or do you need me to shout it out for you? It would have been quite simple to be heard from the, on the stage from that dressing room. Oh wait, you like evidence, don't you? How about this? Using this, it would be easy to get a message to someone on the stage from the dressing room. It would... The mixing board! No! Hmm, so the shooter used this, um, to get the message to the stage? Perhaps you could demonstrate how this was done for us? Oh man, let me show you my sick mixer moves. Um, maybe I was wrong? <laughs> Sorry, your honor. What? I can't hear you! Haha, <laughs> 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 very funny. <laughs> Apparently it's easier said than done. Your honor, if I might show another piece of evidence. No need to shout, Mr. Justice. Show your evidence. Neither did the shooter need to shout, your honor. Uh, not with this. <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin, perhaps you're familiar with this. Why, that's... What? What is it? Is that some kind of newfangled phone they invented while I wasn't looking? Exactly. <laughs> this is a type of transmitter. A communications device. Communications? Device? From what I've heard that night, everyone on stage was wearing one of these. Isn't that right, Prosecutor Gavin? Uh, yes, actually. They're for talking between band members. We all had one on. So you admit that if you were wearing one of these, talking from the backstage to the stage would be simple. Objection. True, but wait. Those sent out an electronic signal. To avoid interference with the audio systems, their range is quite limited. <sighs> Sorry, I need to yawn. Lamawa well, said it was about 30 feet, right? Look at this cross-section diagram of the concert forum. Ah. Uh, Exactly. The walk from the stage to the backstage seems far, but the direct distance is less than 30 feet. That can't be! <laughs> <laughs> so when Lamawa heard the shooter's voice, he could have been talking to someone on stage. Yeah, exactly. Ha! Huh, you're claiming this is the switch in question? Why did it have to be on the stage at the time? It could have been placed in a pocket and carried anywhere. Someone could have hidden it on the stage after the fact. Hey, he's got a point. How do we know where it was when she heard the voice? When the shooter said, press the switch? Well, I guess we don't. Hmm, an unfortunate situation. I'm afraid that until we know where the switch was, there's little point in debating it. Ugh. I was sure this was the way to go with this. What is this switch anyway? We don't even know that basic fact. Wait a second. I do know what this switch is. It burned Emma's hand yesterday. Yeah. And if you follow that train of logic to its incredible conclusion, it ends up in proof that completely changes this case. What's up, Apollo? Apollo? We know about this switch, right? We know what it is. Y yeah? Well, think of when it was used that day. Think of what happened. Well, Mr. Justice, if you have no further information to share concerning this switch... Your Honor! Yes, Mr. Justice? I've been remiss in not telling the court this before. I know what this switch is. Hmm. Well, it seems the defense is set on pawn linking this switch to the case. Cool. Let's see your evidence of the link. Link him up. 
What evidence do you have to explain what this switch is? Well, that one has a brooch, and if you push the switch, it makes it shiny. <laughs> that would be dumb. Huh? I fail to see how this evidence links the switch to this case in any way. Mr. Justice, might I recommend a switch of evidence? <laughs> Ugh, I knew it. Once again, please. That was a good pun, Your Honor. Uh-huh. Well, it's clearly with the igniter. Prosecutor Gavin, you remember this. Ah! That's that! That what? what? <laughs> That's that! <laughs> is it one, another one of those newfangled phones? This is an igniter. What phone looks like this? <laughs> uh, igniter? You mean it's like a lighter? Yes, actually. You aren't saying this switch is a remote. I am. This is a remote trigger for an igniter. What? Look, I'll show you. Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> Mr. Justice, you will cease and desist from burning down this courtroom! <laughs> uh, sorry, that was a bit more fire than I expected. If my whiskers had caught on fire! <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin, let me repeat myself. This switch is a remote igniter trigger. Doesn't that suggest something to you? You're... talking about what happened to me, aren't you? Ah! Exactly. That night at the concert, there was one unusual burst of flame. Oh, please show us the clip. Yes! <laughs> when your guitar caught on fire in the middle of your performance. That's the, no! that's the only clip that I liked. <laughs> Wasn't that part of the stage show, though? Prosecutor Gavin was entirely unaware such a thing had been planned. And the guitar that burned was a valuable keepsake. That's right. He got it in Borgenia from Lemewa. He said the sound was amazing. Before it burned, of course. Now it just kind of smokes. The better the guitar, the brighter it burns. Air forehead. Yes? Don't tell me you're trying to tie these two things together. Those being the shooter's voice heard by Lamewa, And the guitar suddenly catching on fire. I am. It's really simple when you think about it. Mr. L <laughs> and the shooter were at the crime scene. <laughs> the shooter was wearing a headset. He ordered someone on stage to press the switch. The switch was pressed, and the guitar caught fire. Well, that does seem to make sense. Though something about it is bugging me. Can't quite put my finger on it. Really? Seems pretty simple to me. Objection! Air Forehead, don't destroy what little respect I have for you. I was expecting something a little more... sensible. I guess I was wrong. What's this all about, Prosecutor Gavin? His simple story simply makes no sense. I just realized something. He looks like he's wearing a Magatama around his neck. No, that's but a it's metal. That's a chain with a G on it, G for Gavin. Right, yes. and it's G, but it like the way That'd I was looking at it. That'd be a great twist. Like, he actually has spiritual power. <laughs> That'd be cool. I, Even I though only women that. can get spiritual powers. He's actually a How woman. sexist! <laughs> <laughs> also, I would not uh, I mean I would be kinda of surprised by that, although eh, it's Japan, I wouldn't be surprised. Think, that night my guitar caught fire. Yes. The cause may have been this indeed. However, the guitar caught fire during the second set. Ah! That's right! Of course! <laughs> the guitar caught fire during Lamewa's song! <laughs> that was the best. Indeed, yet the shooting happened during the third set. The two are utterly unrelated! Hmm, yes, that must have been what was bugging me. The whole premise for this is faulty. See, his story makes no sense. Objection! Objection! Are you sure about that? What exactly do you mean, Mr. Justice? Maybe it's not the premise for my explanation of the switch that's at fault. Maybe it's our premise for the entire case so far. What premise is this specifically? I'm glad you asked. I'm saying that maybe the killing didn't take place in the third act. Yeah, that's kind of what I wondered. What's this? But Detective Emma Sky heard the shots and found the body. Maybe they faked it later. All of this happened in the third act. Gunshots rain out. And according to his testimony, Machi was in the dressing Actually, room at that time. that would make so much sense because, like, um, Latouse basically like, died instantly after we came over. Versus, mm -hmm. like, normally if you get shot, I feel like you have at least a couple minutes, maybe. Uh, because he died shot. from blood loss. Yeah. And he got shot for the shoulder, so he, that would take a while. That would take down. a yeah. while, so that, I was kind of wondering about that, but I didn't know how they were going to do it. Where are you going with this, Mr. Justice? Take him down! Stay with me, Your Honor. He also told us in this testimony, namely, that the victim had already been shot. 
We all heard gunshots, but no one saw the shooting. This... This is insane! Just before the shooting took place, the shooter was heard on the headset, telling someone to press the switch. The next moment, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame. We know that a remote trigger igniter was inside the guitar. From all these facts, we can draw only one conclusion. The crime did not take place during the third act, but during the ballad performance. The second act! What?! And then he's totally composed. <laughs> order, order, order. But, but that goes against the evidence. What does, Your Honor? This crime was carried out according to the lyrics of that psalm, yes? Hey, he's right. Look, the bullet is supposed to come after the fire. You're thinking about it the wrong way. Huh? Look, why would the shooter craft the events of the day to follow the lyrics anyway? It's an awful lot of trouble to go through, with little merit for the person doing it. Well, I'm sure whoever it was had some reason. Yes, they did. A reason that made it advantageous to follow the lyrics. You're saying the order was reversed on purpose? Hmm? Reversed, Prosecutor Gavin? If the criminal followed the lyrics strictly, then yes. The shooting would have had to come after the guitar burst into flame. Yet our forehead has raised another possibility. But the heart keys were stolen in the morning. Yep. He's claiming that the bullet came after, not after, but just before the fire. Couldn't have put it better myself. We were only meant to think that the shooting came after the guitar burst into flame. That was the criminal's objective. The crime followed the lyrics to a point, but that was the ruse. Why else would the killer risk discovery by moving the body? That was the final touch to make us think he'd follow the lyrics the whole way. Whoa, justice is so short. He's hunched over. He's still pretty short. Yeah. Order, order, order. Uh, that would explain the most unusual situation. It does! The killer changed the order of events to create himself an alibi. In other words, the killer was someone who had an alibi for the third set, but not the second. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but sadly it has. Don't cut off my awesome theme music again! Yeah. Come on! Let me tell you why your little fairy tale makes no sense at all. Oh, it sounds good, I'll give you that. You've given us a reason why the killer bo bothered following the lyrics of my song. But I question your logic, for it's flawed from the very beginning. Flawed? Yes, a contradiction air forehead, one I've pointed out several times, no less. At the time of the crime, the small window at the scene was closed. How could Lamois have heard a voice through it? Oh. You keep coming back to that. Shut up. I know that you would like to divert our attention from this critical fact, but you're basing your entire line of reasoning on a false premise. Right. Lamois' testimony is my entire case. That voice she heard, the shooter's voice. W what if she couldn't hear it, Apollo? Look, what do we have? A man saying, press the switch. And near the crime scene, we have a switch, which acts as a remote trigger for an igniter. And last but not least, Prosecutor Gavin's flaming guitar. It can't all be coincidence. But how do I make it work? I see a more direct line of questioning as required. When the crime scene was investigated immediately after the crime, that window was closed. Care to tell us how Lamewa heard the voice? Hmm. Maybe somebody shut it. A key point, to be sure. Mr. Justice, can you explain this to the court? If it's during the second act, then if if the shooting happens during the second act, it could have been open. And then when she left, they'd be like, okay, close the window. Like, super <laughs> simple. Okay, Justice, you've got one thing to prove and one thing only. Lamewa heard a voice. And she heard it during the second set. Think. How was Lamawai able to hear the voice? The window was open. She has divine hearing. <laughs> divine hearing. No. The window was closed, as you say, yet Lamawai could steer he still hear the voice. Because she has the power of divine hearing! That's the only explanation! The witness is a siren, Mr. Justice, not a saint. Um, I said hearing, Your Honor, not healing. Well, that fell on deaf ears. I'm not sure I know what this divine hearing ability is. Then perhaps we should hear it straight from the all-powerful voice himself. Care to explain how Claire audience has anything to do with this case? Uh, um, can we just move on now? <laughs> Only if you can enlighten this court. Oh, no penalty? No Time penalty. Time to rethink this. You should have a penalty for divine hearing. The judge misheard us. Obviously the window was open. 
It had to be for her to hear the voice. Objection. News bulletin, Air Forehead. That horse is dead. Stop beating it for all our sakes. That wouldn't make... What? That window was closed. During the third act. This is a hard fact reported by the investigation team. During the third act, but, after everything happened, when they came over. Oh, you have evidence to the contrary, perhaps? Well, no, but... Then do be quiet. I tire of the charade. Ugh. Time to rethink this. I guess that would make sense if she's somewhere else, because she's kind of like being weird. This <laughs> is shifty. When we investigated the scene, the window was closed. The shooter had no reason to close it, had it been open either. Meaning it was impossible to hear the voice through that window. Ah, oh, it's good to hear you making sense again. For a moment I was afraid you might be a Borginian too. As I was saying, Lamawa could not hear the voice through that window. So there could only be one explanation. She heard the voice from another location entirely. W what's this? <laughs> you do amuse me so. Wait, I just realized, are all of the headsets connected? I Does that mean everybody heard him? I think him? you can choose which one it goes to. That's, okay, that could change everything if you're Everyone? on the headset and she's not on during then, or maybe she is. Maybe she's on stage and then she's like doing her magic trick thing. So she's like supposedly warping with the magician. And then like on the headset, it's just like, press the switch. You're like, okay. Every, everyone who hears that is like, okay, they just press a random switch. <laughs> they, they change the mixing board, which is why the guy messes up the song. <laughs> that was a different act, Marty. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and here I thought you were on good, I thought you and good sense were back on speaking terms. No, I'm afraid you and good sense speak two entirely different languages. Shut up. Shall I interpret for you, Air Forehead? Lamawa clearly stated she heard the voice through that small window. And there's only one small window at the scene. Are you sure? Think about it. Isn't there another small window at the scene? There is? Ah, oh, I know that look. He wants us to ask him. Very well, you claim Lamawa heard the voice from another location. Mr. Justice, show us where this location was. Lamawa heard the voice from here. Inside all the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> she was in every single one. Does this look like a small window to you, Mr. Justice? Small window of opportunity! <laughs> the state of modern society can be read from numerous objects and artifacts. In a sense, anything can be a window on our society. I didn't ask you to point out a window on society, I want a window on the crime scene. No points for trying? Namawa claims she heard the voice through a small window. And if she, the small window we know about was closed, there, only, there was only one other thing she could have meant. Uh, I'm looking around through here? So there are the two different pages. Oh my gosh, are they doing the most ridiculous thing where it's like, we punched a hole in the wall, and now there's a poster over it, and now you can hear everything through? <laughs> no. That'd be hilarious. No, it's not that. Then maybe the air vent? How would she get in there, though? That wouldn't make any sense. We could try it, though. Uh -huh. This is where Lamawa heard that voice from. But, but that's no small window. That's the air vent. I don't know how it would work, but... What did she tell us? She said she's a Borginian unfamiliar with our language. It's not a stretch to imagine she called this air vent a small window. It's not. Now you've done it. You've gone beyond ridiculous and into ludicrous. So Lamawa was up in the ventilation system listening to this man's voice? That's, that makes sense. That's the only logical explanation, yes. Logical? I do not think this word means what you think it means, Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about it isn't logical? Ha! It hardly merits saying. Why would Lamawa be in the ventilation system? Magic. Hiding like a rat! No offense intended to her, of course. That explanation for that is simple, Prosecutor Gavin. Isn't it, Lamoua? You have been listening to our discussion here, yes? Yes. I admit, it had me quite confused since yesterday. Yet, the small window was closed. But why should that mean I could not hear through it? I feared our prosecutor might himself need an interpreter. <laughs> the problem here is words. Lemawa, this small window through which you heard the voice, was it up high on the ceiling of the room, not low on a wall? Yes, it was up on the ceiling. WHAT?! <laughs> this is great. 
Order, order. I will have order. Ventilation. Witness, you will clarify this statement to the court. Are you in fact saying that you were up above the ceiling of the room? And that's where you heard the moment of the crime? Yes, in fact I was. I'm sorry, I never imagined it would become such an important point. You need to be more smart. You need to actually mention everything. That's the problem with, like, all these cases. It's like, oh, I forgot to mention I was in the car, not outside the car. Whoops! That was a problem. Or like, oh, I forgot to mention This that. one actually is explained, though. I'm sure it is, but, like, some of them it's just ridiculous. Yes, well, why the heck were you up there? I believe it's time for another testimony. I, I'm not sure that I... I can't. May I remind you this is a murder trial? We will hear your testimony. Tell us why you witnessed the crime from above the ceiling of that room. Please. But I'm sworn to secrecy with the magic trick. Well, it looks like I'm on the right track. It'll be fine. Above the ceiling. <laughs> That's my favorite indie band album. <laughs> above the ceiling? Code for heaven. <laughs> Yes, I was above the ceiling when I heard the voice. Wow, that picture's so cool. I know. Also, there's a lot more space up there than Okay, they were think. talking about the actual, like, vent itself is too small. Like, the cover was too small for anyone oh. but Machi to squeeze through. The air vent itself is a bit Wouldn't more spacious. Wouldn't it be dangerous to be in the air vent? Like, what if they turn on the heater and then, like... Dangerous stranger. It's valid grammary. <laughs> Tuxedo true. mask, you don't care. That's true. I had heard there was a small window there before. It was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I had heard. As to why I was there, I cannot say. So, yeah, she had the magician. The magician? Magician. Yep. I'm bound to secrecy on this matter. We know why. It's really easy. You're bound to secrecy? In my line of work, one has many obligations to uphold. But you say you were in the middle of your performance. So this did happen during the second set. I did not witness the crime. You must understand. I only know what I heard. Yes, but you must tell us what you were doing in detail. That's what the cross-examination is for, ya, yeah, Air Forehead. Our mission in this court is to discern the truth. No obligation, no binding pact may hinder that mission. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. What are you going to do, Apollo? I'm going to find out the truth. She was up above that ceiling for a reason. I just have to get it out of her. Yeah. We'll get it out of her. <laughs> above the ceiling. Yes, I was above the ceiling when I heard the voice. Well, we're going to have to do Come that on. next time. We're at the 48 minute mark. Yeah, it's Minner fun. mark. Minner mark. <laughs> Minner mark. <laughs> Minner mark. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for more La Mewa testimony. La Mewa. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish up her testimony that yeah. episode. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.